Former President Donald Trump will appear before a federal judge today. That's right. He faces 37 felony charges related to taking classified documents from the White House after his presidency ended. Savannah Rudisell is live in downtown Miami at the courthouse with what we can expect from today's hearing. Good morning, Savannah. Good morning, and Wyatt and Julian. Now, the former President Donald Trump, he continues to assert his innocence, and he says that he plans to enter a not guilty plea today. Now, this indictment, this 49-page uh, indictment, has, says that it's uh, essentially detailing all of the ways that the former president allegedly mishandled hundreds of boxes of classified documents, including sharing those documents with several individuals. Now, what's still unclear is how exactly this indictment is going to impact his run for the Oval office. We were talking with some demonstrators who were uh, out earlier uh, the other day and the former president, he says, of course, they say, of course, there's a reason that he maintained his lead in the polls after the indictment in April over an alleged hush money scheme. The supporters say that they believe that investigators are unfairly targeting him, while opponents say there's just too much evidence of criminal behavior for him to overlook. If you're a liar, you're a liar. If, you, if you're caught red-handed, you're caught red-handed. They've been trying to pressure this man because he's not part of the establishment. Some of these people got to come to realize they can't all be wrong, these indictments. Now, the lead investigator on this case is special counsel, Jack Smith. Uh, he denies that any of this has been politically motivated, an argument we've heard quite a bit while we've been here in Miami. He says in a very rare public statement that he made that the legal action they're taking aims to simply stick with the facts and show that no one is above the law in the United States. We know that the arraignment is set for 3 o'clock here this afternoon. We plan to be out here until then. Reporting live in Miami, Savannah Rudisau, Queen City News. Savannah, we anticipate security is tight. What have you heard from demonstrators about their specific plans for today? While we were out uh, just outside of Trump's uh, property, just outside of Miami and Doral, a lot of them said, of course, they plan to come here today. So for some people, they plan to make this a two-day, three-day, whatever it takes long event to make sure that they show their support or show their displeasure here with the former president's actions. And some of them said that they were a little bit worried. There were only about two dozen supporters or so when we talked with them uh, yesterday, um, but they said that it got a little bit contentious between two groups. So some of them are a little bit more worried today. But when we uh, talked with the chief of police of Miami, he said, of course, their uh, law enforcement is well prepared for anything and they do not expect uh, any violence or anything disruptive today. All right, Savannah, thank you. We'll continue to check in with you throughout the morning. Queen City News will continue to follow the federal indictment of former President Donald Trump. We'll catch up with Savannah later. And this afternoon, we'll have live coverage of the, president's, of the former president's arrival and subsequent court appearance in...